الزنا لا يحرم لو واحد زنى بامرأة وحملت منه يقول لك إن هذا الماء غير محرم يعني إيه غير محرم يعني دي مش بنته يعني إيه برضه مش فاهم يا عم الشيخ يعني هل يجوز له نكاحها قال لك أيه يتجوزها عادي دي بنته قال لك مين اللي قال بنته هي لا بنته لا شرعا ولا شيء ما مش بنته لن تنسب له أصلا ولما واحد يزني بواحدة ويخلف منها بنت فكتب باسمه باسم الزاني لا أبدا أبدا يبقى مش بنته يعني قتل المرتد مو عشان يصير مسلم المرتد مرتكب لجرم مثل الزاني الزاني إذا كان محصنا يرجم إذا كان غير محصن يجلد السارق إذا اجتمعت شروط قطع اليد قطعت يده القاتل يقتل فهذه عقوبات هذه عقوبات لهؤلاء على العمل الذي قاموا به ومنها المرتد إذا ارتد يقتل إذا تاب من الردة يترك إن هو يعاقب على هذا الفعل أنه فيه استهتار بهذا الدين فيعاقب على هذا العمل كما لو سب الرسول أو سب الله جل وعلا أو كذا فإنه يقتل لهذا الفعل وليس لأجل أن نغصبه على الإسلام الإسلام يعني لا يحتاج ولا يريد يعني مرتزقة يعني صير مسلم ولا ذبحناك ولا لا لا ما نريد مرتزقة الكفر أول شيء السبي لا يكون إلا الكفار لا يجوز سبي مؤمن يعني لا يجوز يكون قتال بين مسلمين مثلا لأي سبب من الأسباب الفتن التي تحدث يكون قتال بين المسلمين لا يجوز السبي أبدا السبي لا يكون إلا الكافر لا يسبى المسلم أبدا وإنما يسبى الكافر وأنا أرجو أن الإنسان لا يخجل من دينه ويقول لا هذا قبل والإسلام لا يدعو إلى هذا لا كن, كن قويا في دينك أظهر دينك نعم هذا ديني نعم الذي لا يرضى أن يعبد الله تبارك وتعالى فإنه يستعبد أو يدفع الجزية أو يدخل في الإسلام أو يقاتل ها هذه الأحوال الأربعة أبدا لا يوجد حال خامس أول ما يدعى الإنسان يدعى الإسلام يقول لا أعبد, أعبد الله تبارك وتعالى الله خلقك لتعبده فإذا قال لا أريد أن أعبد الله تبارك نقول تعيش في أرض الله ولا تعبده ادفع الجزية نقول ولن أدفع الجزية فإذا رفض أن يعبد الله ورفض أن يدفع الجزية نقول له إذا ما لنا معك إلا القتال فنقاتله لأجل هذا فإن قتلناه فهو في النار وإن أسرناه فهو من السبي يصير عبدا رغما عنه لما رفض أن يكون عبدا مكرما باختياره فسيكون عبدا حقيرا بدون اختياره هكذا هو الأمر بالنسبة للذين لا يعبدون الله تبارك وهؤلاء يعني لا تشفقوا عليهم هؤلاء كفار هؤلاء يرفضون أن يعبدوا الله تبارك وتعالى يرفضون أمر الله جل وعلا يعادون الله يسبون الله جل وعلا فالإنسان لا تأخذه الشفقة على أعداء الله على ناس هم معتدون And you have no idea how much I hope Allah is going to curse you to the rest of your life Nothing boy, you're finished already, look at me Look at me, you know you're done You are Ali Ali Wallahi, every single land, every single country, Wallahi, with all their governments and all their military force and all their might and all their science and all their money and all their know-how, all with the exception of none, every country, every tree, every grain of sand, every mountain, every river, every ocean, every ocean, Wallahi, Every star, every sun, every moon, every single planet, every single angel, the billions and billions and billions of angels, all of them, with the exception of none, Mikael, Jibrail, Israfil, all, the first heaven, the second heaven, the third heaven, the fourth heaven, the fifth heaven, the sixth heaven, the seventh heaven, the ocean above it. The eight that carry the flag of Allah. Do the water. The hearts of Allah. All are dead. All are dead. 
Hello, hello, we are live on air. Welcome everybody, God bless you. I hope everybody is doing okay. What's up, what's up? We are live. Yes, we are live. Hello guys. <clears throat> Let me say hi to our admins. We are blessed. How are you, sister? God bless you. TM Crosspulse. iPhone 3G. Phil Herrera. All the lovely admins who are here. God bless you. Keep our admins in your prayers, guys. Brother Angelo, welcome, my friend. Brother Angelo made that, made that intro for me, guys. The first intro. I can't thank him enough. How are you, my brother in Christ? Let me say also hi to Tiger J7, Romeo Damido Chanchez, Bearcat. The veil is thin. Frau, how are you? How are you, Frau? Uh, peaceful warrior. Uh, I think this is a Muslim. Welcome anyway. We love Muslims. Mr. Arun, welcome my friend, how are you, dear brother? Dismas, Elio Inai, Joel S, Lolo Mimi, Joanna A, hi dear sister, she's another new subscriber, welcome sister Joanna. Uh, Harsh Chabara, Chabra, sorry if I'm butchering your name, Andrew Padaki, Eddie Gunawan Kwok, The End, Drem ING, Ger Tosav, Nina Edge. Wow, there are many people, man. Again. Christians, are you sure that to be here? <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much. Welcome, everybody. Hey, Cheeseburger, present. Man, your name, man. Always makes me hungry, man. Skull Super, Arthur Lane, R Raya E. Peter, Anthony Malik. Uh, there are many people, guys. Sorry if I cannot mention your name because there are too many people in the live chat. Peter DeWald, hello, sir. Music learner, Potter, Jane Miller. Too many people to to, uh, <laughs> to count, guys. So, sorry, guys, if I did not mention your name. I love you anyways. Even the Muslims who are watching, we love you. We don't hate you. We are here for the truth and only the truth. So, if the truth is hate, then so be it. If the truth is for you hate, then so be it. Anyway, so guys, let us, let us start. Welcome everybody. Please don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, click on the notification bell. You know that's important these days to receive notifications when we go live. Click on that bell, smash it. Also, if you want to subscribe to our Facebook, you can do that on facebook.com slash Christian. And if you want to support our ministry, the full-time ministry that we do on Patreon, you can become a patron on patreon.com slash Christian. Welcome, everybody. Before we start, guys, I want to ask you to pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the name above all names. Every knee will bow and proclaim that he is Lord. So pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ so that our stream can be blessed and the audience who are watching. Jesus, thank you for your grace. We truly believe that you are risen and you are risen indeed. Al-Masih Qam, Haqqan Qam. Truly you are risen, Lord. That's what we say in the Arabic as Arabic speaking Christians. Thank you for your ultimate gift, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your grace that saved us from death, the eternal death. And thank you for my lovely audience who are always here to support our work. Thank you so much, Lord. And thank them. And please bless them because they are here almost every day in, day out to support our work. Maybe come here to learn and share the knowledge that we are teaching here. So please bless them and bless their loved ones and families. Please, Lord, keep all of us healthy and safe, especially from the spread of this disgusting coronavirus, this evil coronavirus. And please, Father, enfold us in your arms. Help us not to lean on our own understanding, but in everything acknowledge you, Lord, so that you can direct our words, thoughts, and actions. Give us a measure of your strength so that we might not give in to any discouragement, taqiyya, makr, of Allah, Satan lies or any doubt lord please help us honor you in all our ways 
Lord, I pray to you and ask you to shine your holy light on all of us. Please, Lord Jesus, including the Muslims who might be in need and maybe they are here to learn about the truth. We believe that there are hope for everybody, including the Muslims who might be seeking for the truth. Please also, Lord, open their eyes so they can be saved. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit and loosen my tongue today and guide me so I can speak the truth, nothing but the truth, without any error or any shame because we should not be ashamed about the truth. And Lord, give me wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done in Jesus name we pray amen amen welcome everybody we are live on air hello hello on this live show guys we will have the opportunity today to refute Daoud Kim Daoud Kim and teach him and his new Korean friend the true face of Islam not the <laughs> not the Islam that they are, have been telling them about you know when, you, when they took their Shahada they actually tell you if you leave Islam that they are allowed to kill you if you don't repent and come back, if you become an apostate. Did they, did they, do you think they told these poor victims of this man-made cult? Did you have any idea what Islam is uh, before you recited your shahada? I don't, I don't. Today, guys, we're going to go through a video of uh, Daud Kim again. You Maybe you saw our video about him and his shaky shake, Abdullah al Kuri, right? Abdullah, the Korean. We spanked him left and right. All the lies that he said in that short video, we went through all of them. And to be honest with you, I lost count how many times I spanked that liar and deceiver who claimed to be a Christian. Yeah, right. Christian who does not know the difference between a Christian and a Catholic. And he has no idea that Catholics are our brothers and sisters in Christ. They are Trinitarian Christians like we are. Claiming to be a, a Christian. Yeah, right, right. Guys, make sure to have something to drink, maybe some popcorn, sharing is caring. So guys, to the admins, maybe you can share our Skype ID if there are Muslims. Let me open Skype. If there are Muslims in the live chat who think they have the courage or the knowledge to call us and have a nice respectful discussion with us live on air. We are here live on air. If you think you can refute me. Maybe you can share with us why anyone should become a Muslim in 2020. I'm here, live on air. I would love to have a call from you. All right? Do we have Muslims? Do we have already Muslims? We have two dislikes. Do we have Muslims, guys, who wants to call us before we actually, actually start? Anyone? Do we have any customer? <laughs> Hi, PDM. How are you, Peter? Welcome. Do we have any customers? Anyone? Guys, we don't bite. Come on, man. Brother, huh? Brother Rob Christian, go easy on them, brother. Anyway, no Muslims yet. Okay, maybe later. Maybe later. our Skype is open, uh, admins. All right? We have uh, we have Skype already opened. So if there are Muslims in the live chat during my teaching. Please share my Skype ID with them and highlight my name so we can have a nice call. If they want to call us, if they truly have the courage to call us live on air. So this is my topic today, guys. I'm going to do a response video about the latest video that uh, Daud Kim uploaded on his YouTube channel. But before I go there, guys, I want to share... Uh, something with you uh, yesterday i was on the live show of our brother david wood with sham shamoon with sam shamoon and they mentioned my name and uh you know uh, i'm really happy you know with i'm really i really appreciate that shout out towards me thank you sam shamoon i love you brother i love you david wood um uh, muslims i'm going to play the video and you can eat your heart out because you always say, Sam Shamoon destroyed you. I mean, Sam Shamoon, guys, for the people who don't know, Sam Shamoon is a dear older brother of mine. He used to come uh, to my room in the Paul Talk era. He came to teach. He's a, he's a, he's a friend, longtime friend. I mean, can an older brother be angry sometimes with his younger brother? I mean, uh, we are humans, man. I, I love Sam. May God bless his 
two daughters, his two lovely daughters. And keep Sam and keep David Wood uh, in your prayers, guys. They're amazing warriors in Christ. I love both of them. They are dear, dear brothers of mine. Okay? So now that we clear that out, let me play that part that they mentioned me. And we will go from there and we will start our uh, actual video, guys. So let me play that part and we will go from there. So here, this is the, the live show yesterday. Actually, guys, when they... Uh, gave me a shout out. I was in bed. I was watching and I felt asleep. I, I didn't even make uh, the half of the live show. So I felt asleep and the admins told me about it. So thank you for for telling us this and you know uh, a shout out back to th these two amazing brothers in Christ. Support both of them guys if you didn't already do so. Let me play this part. Uh, a big shout out back to you guys. I love you. I love you Sam. I love you David Wood. Um, yeah, I'd have to check that out. All right, so, Sam, any final thoughts? Yeah, um, <clears throat> just want to, if, if you ever want in the future to bring, you got also another guy, up-and-coming guy, Rob Christian. You want to invite him to speak? Yeah, I saw, I, I didn't see it, but I know that he, he did, I guess he did a, a live stream or something like that with Islam Critique, because I saw Islam Critique with, with, with people said Islam Critique with Rob Christian did a response yeah. to Farid. Yeah, so Rob Christian, and obviously we need to get Osama Dakdok. We need to give him more exposure because he's a warrior. He's going to be on with El Fari. Thanks you. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. I love you too, we my friend. We want more people doing this work for the glory of Jesus. And I want to repeat what David said. The Lord doesn't need me. And Amen. If the Lord tarries and I die, I'll be the thing of a pastor. Amen. We need Jesus, guys. We need Jesus. Mightier soldiers for his glory. It's Jesus who raises up people to defend his glory, preach his gospel, and preserve his church by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we want more people. We want more people involved. We want more people doing this. And David has given you permission. I give you permission. Take clips. To upload these videos. Take our articles. Use it for the glory exactly, of Jesus. Exactly, guys. Do that, guys. falls in love with King Jesus Christ. And if the Lord is pleased to use us, pray that God will make us holy, give us the health we need, protect our family, and provide. And that's all I ask, mm -hmm. just that I can finish the race with integrity and do nothing scandalous to shame Jesus and may he save me from my own corruption on my worst enemy but may Jesus increase and may I decrease may Christ be glorified and don't forget David right after I'm done with you I'm going to use the <laughs> Bible to prove that so, thank you thank you Sam thank you David Wood for the shout out God bless you guys uh, we are here only to serve so keep these two amazing brothers in your prayers guys uh support them support sam support david wood i love you both thank you sam thank you david wood uh now that we de said that guys let us go and play the video of uh doubt kim yes doubt kim right doubt kim brother <laughs> doubt kim so guys as i mentioned Daud Kim made a video and he brought this uh, friend of his, uh, a supposedly new convert to Islam, another Korean. Uh, the Koreans in uh, Korea are doing a lot of damage. These poor Koreans there, they have no idea what Islam is. They've been duped, they've been fooled by these idiots here, this Daud Kim here, who has more than 2 million subscribers. He's doing a lot of damage and we need to do something about these guys. So if there are Korean Brothers and sisters in Christ, in the live chat, please, for the love of God, download our videos, download this video, cut it in parts, and put subtitles. Send me those videos, and I will upload it on my YouTube channel again, with the subtitles, alright? So that it's going to be easier for the Korean people who, are, who might be, you know, who might be struggling, or, you know, uh, who might be duped, so we want to be assured that it's, you know, be delivered there and say and help those people there. Okay. I got a call. Hello. Uh, hello. Please, please uh, mute YouTube. I, please mute the uh, background. Please. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Welcome. Yeah, Rob Chris. Yeah, yeah Rob Chris. Welcome. Yes. Yeah, you you welcome. Are you a Christian or a Muslim, my friend? Yeah, well, I'm I'm a Christian. I just want to say something to you. Okay, make it short, please, because you know, I, to be honest with you, I only want Muslims to call me, but keep it short. Okay, keep it short. Okay. Um. Well, I'm from I'm I'm from Sierra Leone, where um Muslim is seventy percent dominate, mm -hmm. and 
they are lying to our people. I'm so glad that I mean you guys like um we were priests like you, you, Christian Prince Thank and you. David Wood and J Smith. I'm I can listen to you to you guys Thank every you. day on YouTube, following your video. You guys are doing well. Thank you, you my guys friend. Are we are really we, doing well. My friend, we are nobodies, to be honest with you. We are nobodies. We are here only to serve and to serve the truth, nothing else. You don't need us, we need Jesus. But if 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 we can use our knowledge and this is the plan of God, then so be it. Okay. So it's you know, if God wants us to teach, then so be it. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I really I really like to link you with my pastor also because he really like to know more about what you are doing. I mean, it will, it will love that. I would really like to link you so you guys can have small conversation. Yeah. Well, you know, send me a message and maybe, you know, we can we can talk in private. Is that okay? Send me a message. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Thank you for okay. calling, my friend. I want to continue. Okay, okay? you're welcome. Thank okay, you. you're welcome. Thank you for Bye. calling. Thank okay. you for God bless you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Thanks. Uh, guys, please, if you're a Christian, don't call me, okay? You know the basic rules by now. But, you know, I wanted, you know, to give this person, you know, maybe he wanted to share something. So it's okay. But thank you. I appreciate it, guys. Like I said, you don't need us. We are only here for the truth. I am here only to serve. Who To serve who? To serve you and to serve the truth. Nothing but the truth. Thank you anyway, guys. God bless you. Please, Christians, don't call me, okay? At the moment, don't call me. Only Muslims. Um, let me say a big shout out for the uh, Super Chat uh, people persecuted dot ct thank you for the super chat my friend matthew 9 37 38 be ready for the apostate tsunami amen to that let's equip ourselves thanks rc for the teaching no thank you for being here my friend i'm here only to serve thank you thank you god bless you my friend god bless your loved ones uh brother or sister g also thank you for the super chat thank you so much god bless you guys let us Play the video and we will continue from there. So put on your headsets. It might be early for some people or maybe late. You know, it depends where you are. For me, it's very early. You know, I just woke up. I had my breakfast, but it was it will not hold us back from doing what we do. We are here to serve. So let us serve and serve nothing but the truth. So let me play the video and spank this duped guy who is doing too much damage in Korea. So if we have Korean brothers, please. Download our videos, cut, cut them in parts, put subtitles, and send me those videos so that we can re-upload them and help our brothers and sisters in Korea so they are not going to get duped like this fool here who is misrepresenting the truth, lying about the true face of Islam. All right, guys? Thank you. Let us start. Let us start. Assalamu alaikum. So today, Assalamu alaikum, brother. My friend, can you introduce <laughs> okay, my name is Han Juche and my Muslim name is Daniel. <laughs> Daniel, wait, wait, wait. Daniel? Daniel, brother? Did you hear it? His name is, a Muslim name is Daniel. No way. Muslim name is Daniel? I never heard this before, guys. I would have expected maybe Abdullah or uh, Muhammad or Ahmed or uh, uh, Hussein, uh, whatever, man. But Daniel? Okay. Mm. You know, the miracles are not out <laughs> of this world yet, guys. <laughs> brother Daniel, uh, Salamu Alaikum, brother. You're a true Muslim name, brother. Uh, <laughs> well, let me do live part two. <laughs> it's been uh, three months. Three months three duped. Months, yeah. Okay. Oh, you're a new Muslim. Yeah. Teach us Islam. Oh, oh, look, 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 look how cute this is, brother. Yeah. A uh, true, true, uh, okay. It's really okay. hard to meet Korean Muslims in Korea, you know? Yeah, sure. How did you know Islam at first? I was... Yeah, how, how did you know Army Islam? How did you learn about Islam? Year, yeah, Teach us, please. friend who live in France. French? Uh -huh. yeah. Bonjour tout le monde. Oh, it's you. Yeah. 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 Francais, <laughs> pas très français. Ah. Oh, my friend was Muslim. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that first because she was so scared about telling me that oh. mm. I think in Korea there's many prejudice about against Islam. Yeah, it is, it is. They well, like they should. They should. It is. It is very dangerous. It's like it's a virus. The Corona virus. You never heard of the Corona virus? Very dangerous, brother.
Brother, huh? very Do they dangerous. have bomb in their bag yeah. or something? That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> Allah she Allah, maybe. such an amazing person that I've ever met. I found out that from that religion. Uh, uh, you need true, you need true. The, the Abdul in the live chat, you need true. Can you, can you call me? I mean, it's so easy in the live chat to say you have no brain or operation. Prove it! If you are so such a proud... Uh, Proud Muslim man, and you are follower of Deen al Haq. What is holding you back to spank Rob Christian life on air? Prove everybody that Rob Christian is a liar. I mean, you keep repeating it in the live chat. Uh, prove it, man. Why are you so scared? Meow. Anyway, let us continue. This is another fool, another coward. Yeah, Jaban ibn Jaban, you coward. So I was curious about Islam. You're How curious about Islam. Okay. Religion make people like that. Some mm. kind of point of view, living the life is from Islam. It's from the Quran. But their Quran. perspective of their life is different than non-Muslim. They think life is a journey to follow yeah. the God. Their mm -hmm. purpose of life yeah. is different. Uh, then, how did you decide to be a Muslim? Is there any special reasons? First, yep. I got the Quran because I like to know something. I uh -huh. want to know more, and I searched. Uh, many information through you've been duped YouTube. yeah <laughs> ah, this guy duped you see he learned about islam from Daud kim and Daud kim look at this beautiful smile brother he, he duped you he taught you about the false face of islam not the true face of islam that we spanking day in day out on our live shows Right there, uh, that came, uh, brother. Look, look, uh, look, look how cute this guy is. Ah, you saw my tip? Oh, you yeah. saw my tip? Yeah. Uh, look, she... it's, it's not about the business, guys. It's not business for this guy. He has two million subscribers. Allahu alam. Allah knows best how many people, uh, how many money, oil money this guy's get. <laughs> two million. Are you saw my tip? Oh, yeah. Of before we become Muslim. Yeah, yeah, yeah advertising, brother. Ah, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, ah. My channel. Yeah, your channel. I'm ah. so honored. Ah. 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 Advertising, brother. Advertising. <laughs> I found that, oh, this religion is just wonderful. I especially like the part wonderful. that Muslims have to pray five times oh, per yeah. day. Five times prayer for, per day. It's some oh. people, to someone, maybe oh, really? it's kind of difficult, but I found it's very good to me because it definitely changed my life. Uh -huh. I think that's the best part of Islam, I believe. Because we part can of Islam. have a time mm -hmm. to meet Allah. Okay, what is Allah to you? Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, that's just incredible. Incredible. Yeah. You meet Allah? Wait, Allah is outside of His creation. Allah is outside of His creation. How is it possible to meet Allah? Please explain to me that. Uh, guys, uh, serious question. You are saying you meet Allah five times a day. How is that possible if Allah is outside of creation? That's the one million dollar question. I could keep remind that you yeah. need to be a good person every single time. Maybe uh. I could die before next play prayer. Uh. Maybe uh. I would see my creator. Wait, wait, wait. You want to see your creator. Okay. But if I did something wrong, mm -hmm. I will be very ashamed about myself mm -hmm. in front of my creator. But wait, wait, guys, he's talking about his creator, right? You should be myself. very ashamed in front of my creator. Guys, creator, he, he's talking about creator, but wait, if we go to the Quran, brother, if we go to the Quran, there are many creators, brother. Guys, he's talking about creator, but there are many creators in Islam. Look, chapter 23, Surah Al-Mu'minun, the believers, ayah 14. Then we made the sperm drop into a clinging cloth, and we made the cloth into a lump of flesh, and we made from the lump bones, and we covered the bones with flesh. Then we developed him into another creation. So blessed is Allah, the best of creators. Allah ahsanul khaliqeen. Wait. Best of creators? I mean, we're talking about someone who is creating life. Wait a second. Not one creator. How many creators are there in Islam? We know that uh, Isa created uh, uh, from clay. He created uh, a bird. So are you talking about uh, Isa? That Allah is better than Isa? Who, is, who can also create life? Who has the same divine attribute of creating life? 
together with Allah. It seems that Isa uh, can create life too. Ah, that's what Allah meant by best of creators. But let me give you a surprise. Surprise, surprise. This highlighted part, guys, for the people who do not know, or maybe are new to Islam, or maybe you have no idea what this ayah is talking about. This highlighted part, guys, this blue highlighted part here, this should not be in the Quran. Why, Rob Christian? Why should it not be in the Quran? Because it's not divine revelation. Wow! Really? Yes. Because if you know about Islam, there was a guy, maybe the admins want to put it in the live chat. His name was Abdullah ibn Abi Sarh. Who? Abdullah ibn Abi Sarh. He was a scribe for Muhammad. He used to write the ayahs for Muhammad down on bones, on stones, on animal skin. And this guy, when Muhammad recited this ayah and he stopped here, right there, Muhammad stopped and this guy, Abdullah bin Abi Sarh said, so blessed be Allah, the best of creators. And Muhammad said, Abdullah, Abdullah, Abdullah ibn Abi Sarh, wait, 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 wait. Allah just gave it to me as you said, write it down like that. And this guy, this Abdullah said to himself, wait, wait, if Muhammad can take my own words and make it Quran ayahs, that means I can be a prophet too. These are my words. Those are my words. How is a divine revelation, brother? So this Abdullah ibn Abi Sarh, when he found out that Muhammad is a scam, and this highlighted part, he wanted to put it in the Quran. Well, it's not the word of Allah. He understood. This Muhammad is scam, man. So he left Islam. He became an apostate. And he run. He flee. And Muhammad wanted even to kill him. But it was Uthman who prevented Muhammad from killing him. Did you catch it, guys? So this highlighted part is not even Quran. <laughs> Oh man, Lord have mercy. It's not Quran? No, it's not Quran, brother. It's not Quran. So, if you're going to say it's Quran, so that means Allah has, has many, uh, you know, there are many creators in Islam together with Allah. Do you see it? Creators. Creators of life. We're talking about religion. We're not talking about someone who creates a car or a, a computer or a, a maybe a bicycle. No, we're talking about someone who creates life. Right? You, can, you cannot pl play those games with me, brother. I'm too bright for that. I'm not, I, was, I wasn't born yesterday, bro. <laughs> so here, this highlighted part, guys. Here, this in the Arabic, this part was not in the Quran in the first place. But Muhammad forced the guy to write it down. Any Muslim? Any Muslim? Uh, Mr. Daud Kim, you, you, you know about this, right? Mr. Daud Kim? You must have heard about this, right? Before you became a Muslim? I'm sure you know about this. <laughs> and guys, let us go back a little. Let us go back a little and show you that this complete part is nothing but nonsense. Muhammad stole this, right? Muhammad stole it? Yes, Muhammad stole it. Let me prove it. So here, this is talking about the, basically in a nutshell, how babies are created. I know embryos. Right? Embryos. Quran about embryology, right? Guys, I hope you're interested in science. I hope I'm not going to put you asleep. But we need to dissect this ayah because, you know, the guy is talking about creator, right? And creator is mentioned in the ayah. But let us see what Muhammad said in the Quran. And if he's wrong or right. Guys, and keep in mind, if we can show you one error in the Quran, that means Allah does not exist. Islam is false and the Quran is nothing but a man-made book if we can prove it. Guys, thank you for the super chat. Doni Tesfu, thank you so much. God bless you. Uh, Doni says in the super chat, Hey Rob Christian, may God bless you. I'm so happy we got another CP. My friend, uh, please don't associate me with CP. CP is a living legend, man. I know it's an honor. It's an honor to be mentioned beside him. But CP, no, no one can be compared to CP. God, God bless this dear brother, man. True living legend. You are a warrior of Christ. I appreciate it, my friend. God bless you. Only here to serve. 
I, I just got your YouTube channel yesterday. Keep the good work. God bless you. No, God bless you for being here, for your support. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, R2026I, also in a super chat. Thank you. Small, but hopefully helpful. Thank for serving the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. We're here to serve, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the donation. God bless you. Let us continue. The Quran about embryology. Let us see if the Quran is wrong. All right, brother. All right. Let us see. According to the Quran, if you go back, guys, just, just a little bit back. According to the Quran, you know, when the embryo in the womb of his mother is being uh, developed, we see that you have a lump of flesh, okay? Then you get the bones, so it becomes bones. So you have only bones. So the flesh becomes bones. Wait, wait, wait. So the flesh, this lump of flesh becomes bones, and then the bones are covered with flesh. Do you see it? So we have a small, tiny piece of lump flesh. You know, guys, I don't want to go too much on it. You know, you know this, this is disgusting, a lie, but let me go to this. I want, I want to be very specific about this part here. So let us see if this is true, guys. Let us see if this is true, all right? Uh, another super chat for our dear brother, uh, First Galatians 1.17. Uh, guys, uh, support his brother who just gave us a super chat. Thank you, my friend. Support his YouTube channel. He has amazing content too. Uh, he, he says, challenge them to make a reaction video to Surah 9, IS 27 to 30. Islamic peaceful verses. Exactly. Any Muslim who wants to do that, I, I would love to, to discuss those verses with you, man. Chapter 9, IS 27 to 20, uh, sorry, 27 to 30. Any Muslim? Let us let us do this, guys. We're here. Let us do this. Make a response video about me about it. I would love to to destroy you and your man-made cult and your fake prophet. So, guys, let us see if it's true that first you get a lump of flesh that is, you know, from dead blood, you know, clot. You see, clot, blood clot. So, blood clot is nothing but dead blood. I don't want to go too much into that, you know. Blood clot, that clot. So, uh, you know, Muslim babies are nothing but uh, zombies, you know, living dead, <laughs> the zombies, dead blood. And this dead blood becomes lump of flesh and then it becomes bones and then it's getting covered by the flesh. So first you have the bones, according to the ayah. First you have bones, then flesh covers the bones. Uh oh. Is this true, guys? Is this true? No, it's not. Modern science explains that the mesoderm, right? You have a tissue. You have uh, basically layers of tissue. The mesoderm is responsible, which is this, right? This, this stuff here that you see here. It's a tissue, right? Which is responsible for forming tissue such as flesh and bones. So this layer, this part here is responsible for forming tissue such as flesh and bones. This layer, so this mesoderm layer, develops the flesh and bones simultaneously. What? The same, at the same time, flesh and bones are developed. So modern science destroys the Quranic claim. Right, Muslims? So here, as we mentioned, one error destroys Quran, destroys Islam, cripples Islam, and proves that Muhammad is nothing but a fake prophet. All right, do you see it? So no, you don't get the bones first, and then tissue, which is flesh that covers the bones. No, bones and flesh are, de are developed simultaneously when you have a baby. Wow! This ayah proves that Muhammad is a false prophet, and there's nothing called Allah. So again, in other words, one of them is called the mesoderm. So the mesoderm layer is the middle layer, this red area that you see here, the, the middle layer that later develops the flesh and bones simultaneously at the same time. Did you catch it, guys? At the same time. So the Quran is wrong. Muslims, the Quran is wrong about the embryology stages. It's wrong. In other words, guys, 
if we have a Muslim parent, a mother or a, a father, let's say the father, imagine if your wife is pregnant, right? Muslim men, if you are watching, imagine if your wife is pregnant, God forbid, if she gets a miscarriage, guys, sorry if I'm going to butcher the English, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm saying it correctly, miscarriage, sorry if I'm butchering the English, but you get that. If you get a miscarriage, your wife gets a miscarriage, and she loses the baby, at this, at this stage that you see here, the highlighted stage, the bones, then we can say, congratulations dad, you just became father to a skeleton baby there is no flesh can you imagine guys can you can you see this comedy guys look at this comedy in the quran can we say to the father you have just became father of a skeleton baby only a baby which is nothing but skeleton without flesh if the mother gets a miscarriage at this very stage you see how the quran is nothing but a comic book guys comic book bear skeleton baby brother Congratulations, you just became a father of a skeleton baby. Congratulations, dad. Skeleton baby in Islam? Yes, only in Islam, brother. So, <laughs> no, brother, the Quran is wrong. Flesh and bones are developed simultaneously, else you would have a skeleton baby, brother. Look at this, Kuchiku, Kuchiku, look at this skeleton baby, brother. Kuchi, Kuchiku, brother. <laughs> look at this cute baby, brother. Yeah, they put him on him, uh, I think uh, this is a Halloween uh, costume or something. So no, chapter 23, I have 14, is garbage, is comic. <laughs> it's uh, man-made, brother. Man-made, brother, yes, man-made. Guys, let us see where Muhammad got the idea from. Remember, Muhammad always steal the stories. Muhammad always plagiarized from books before Islam, right? They are used to circle around many books, many medical books. And Muhammad, because he was working for Khadija, the richest woman, the number one woman of Mecca, he used to work for her as a merchant, so he had access to many books. He was the number one guy working for the number one woman, his wife. Khadija. So he had access to many books and Warakai ibn Nufl was translated. It can happen. So guys, refresh. Please, and give me one if you hear me. Refresh. Refresh, guys. Refresh. Tell me if, if you can hear me. So we can continue the teaching, guys. Yeah, we, lo we lost connection for, for a second. It is what it is. It will always happen, guys. Okay, let us continue. Sorry for that. It's out of our hands. So let us see where Muhammad got the idea from that you have first the, something called the bones like this and then the bones are covered by flesh. So we just proved to you that it's false. Quran is man-made, Muhammad is fake prophet. But let us see where Muhammad plagiarized this from. Here, here, from this guy. From Galen, a Greek scientist who lived 1900 years ago which is 500 years before Islam. You had the Greek scientist by the name of Galen, who came with this idea. He was wrong. He was wrong. Let us see what Galen said. Galen, 500 years, claims that Hippocrates and Aristotle, which came before him, he claims that they were wrong, right? They also made claims, and he, this guy, claims that they were wrong. So he says, let's see what Galen says. Galen says, Water, which is sperm, not fa, right? Sperm, water of the man, the sperm of the man, and the sperm of the woman. Yes, Galen did not know that women have eggs. Galen at that time, you know, he's a, he's a man, right? A man, a man can make mistakes, even Greek scientists of his time, right? So he was wrong, and he thought that women have sperm. This is this Galen here. So Muhammad got it from him, and Muhammad also was wrong in the Quran. Right? Remember, Nutfa, so he, because Muhammad thinks that women have sperm like men, gushing out from the, from the necklace area, right? The necklace area of the woman and the backbone of the man. Lord, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. This, this, is, this is God? This is God? Muslims, if, if, if you claim that Allah is, uh, is God, that means Galen, Galen himself is God because Muhammad got it from him. <laughs> 
Anyway. So Muhammad stole from Galen, and I'm going to prove it to you. Just guys, I'm hope I hope that I'm not putting you asleep. Give me a one so that I know that you're still following. Are you still following, guys? So let us continue. So this guy is the one who made that claim that gushing sperm of the men and women from between the backbone and the ribs. Do you see it? He made that claim. Mr. Galen, the Greek scientist. Not Muhammad. Muhammad only plagiarized it. He stole it from Galen. And we are going to prove it to you. Just bear with me, guys. We're going to go there. Don't worry. Rob Christian is here. We are here with you, guys. So then he says in point number two, the menstrual blood, so the nutfa, the sperm of the men and the women, yeah, women have sperm, yes. According to Islam, because they stole him, Muhammad stole from Galen. So Muhammad and Galen, they believe that women and men have sperm. And this sperm becomes menstrual blood, dead blood, congealed dead blood, blood cloth, which is dead blood. So Muslims, uh, you have to believe that your babies in the very early stages are nothing but dead zombies. They are living Living dead zombies. Your babies, yeah. <laughs> Zombie babies in Islam, brother. Zombies? Yes, zombies. Because how can you, how can you make from something which is dead, which is dead blood clot, how can it become alive? Only in Islam, brother. Uh, you know, Galen was wrong. I mean, this guy was wrong. He thought, you know, he was wrong. So from menstrual dead blood, you get living tissue, flesh, and then... This flesh becomes bones first. <laughs> you see? This is copy-paste in the Quran, right? Quran is copying. Muhammad copying from this guy. Uh, wrong. Galen was wrong. Because Muhammad got it from Galen, the Quran uh, is wrong. You see it? And then this guy says, after the bones being developed, after, then the flesh grows around the bones. Uh, wrong. You see, copy paste, do you see it? So first you get uh, the, the dead blood, dead blood clot. And then from the clot, you get lump of flesh and that flesh becomes bones, skeleton baby. And then, <laughs> and then this, the bones are covered with flesh. Exactly like Galen, right? Like Galen. Copy paste, brother, pressurizing. Copy paste, right? You see it? Uh, Galen is wrong. Allah is wrong. Muhammad is wrong. But where, how did Muhammad, guys? For the Muslims who might ask the question, and I love it. I respect that. Where? How did Muhammad get access to the work of Galen? That's the one million dollar question. How? Let me teach you how. Are you still with me, guys? Are you still following? Are you still with me, guys? Are you still following? Please. I hope I'm not putting you asleep, guys. Come on. Okay. Okay, you're with me, guys. Perfect, perfect. Let us continue. So how did Muhammad get access to the works of Galen? Guys, let me tell you how. There was a uh, an, an Aramaic-speaking guy by the name of Sergius of Roshina. He was an Aramaic-speaking Christian. An Aramaic-speaking Christian who translated 26 books, about 26 books, that were written by Galen, right? This guy here. So Sergius of Roshina was translating the Greek into Aramaic. Do you see? This is Aramaic in the 6th century. Do you see it? Before Islam, before Muhammad. Do you see? This is Aramaic writing. So Greek, Greek, was translated to Aramaic. So Galen's work was originally in Greek, and then this guy, Sergius, translating from the Greek to Aramaic. So now we have the work of Galen into Aramaic. Aha! Does it ring a bell? Waraqa ben Nofel? Does it ring a bell? Yes, it does ring a bell. Others like Waraqa ben Nofel? Yes, others like Waraqa ben Nofel. Watch, guys, watch. So now we have the work of Galen in Aramaic, and we know that Aramaic was a Basically, like the Greek and Arabic were basically the languages like English of today in the Middle East. All the, the countries surrounded the, who, which surrounded the Mediterranean Sea, they had access to the works of Galen, now in Greek, but also in Aramaic. 
Did you catch it? Did you catch it guys? Okay, good. You got you caught it. So what happened? So let's say our friend, our dear Christian friend, Sergius, he, he came from Turkey, right? Do you see it? Nowadays Turkey. He lived here in Turkey and unfortunately there were many misconceptions, you know, the the you know how the church at that time separated, and they believed that Nestorians were heretics which is, by the way, not, not true, right? It's not true. They were wrong about the Nestorians because Nestorians were Trinitarian Christians. Like, let's say today we have the Assyrian church. Uh, by the way, guys, I'm not an Orthodox or a follower of, I'm a Christian, guys, okay? Don't, I'm, I don't follow any, any denomination. I'm simply a Christian, a follower of Christ. I don't follow denominations. But you had this guy who was being persecuted along the Nestorians who were considered at that time to be heretics, but they were not heretics. They were actually true Trinitarians. Anyway, I don't want to go too much off topic, but this Sergius who lived in Turkey, he moved with his family and he took his translated work of Galen with him to Persia. Do you see it? This, so he, he goes to Persia. In other words, let me type it in the chat, Sergius took his family together with him plus his translated work with him from Turkey nowadays Turkey to Persia did you catch it did you catch it guys are you with me are you there are you there guys so we have the Aramaic translated work of Galen now in Persia you see it? So, Sergius and his translation, including Galen's work, he took it with him and he went to Persia. Right? All right. Now you see how, right? How it will end up in the hands of Muhammad. Watch. So, there was a medical school in Persia, in the area called, or city called, Jundi Shapur. There was a medical school in the city called Jundi Shapur. So Galen's work, now translated into Aramaic by Sergius, reached this school, this university in Jundi Shapur in the 6th century. Did you catch it? So here the work of Galen is started to be taught from in the Aramaic. Uh -huh. Does it ring a bell guys? Uh -huh. Bam, all right. Okay, so as you see, many people have been graduating in this Jundi Shapur Medical School, and they got graduated and became doctors, including a guy whose name was Al Harith ibn Qallada or Qalda, right? Al Harith ibn Qallada or Qalda. This guy, this name that you see here, this guy became a doctor. He learned from the books of Galen, which were wrong, by the way, as we showed you, right? Now, what happens next? This Al Harith ibn Qallada, who studied medicine in the same school and read what Galen said about the embryology stages, what did he do? After graduation, look what happened. This Al Harith ibn Qallada goes to Mecca. Uh -huh, Rob Christian, now I understand where you want to go with this information. So he goes to Mecca and becomes one of the companions of who? The Prophet of Islam, Muhammad himself. Uh -huh. Surprise, surprise! Guys, I put a lot of work in this research, guys. I put so much, guys, so if you love me, you need to share this. Hours and hours of research, I kid you not. But I'm doing it to serve the truth, guys. I'm here to serve. You know, it, it will take us a lot of research, but we will come to the truth. And this is the truth. This is how Muhammad had access to the books of Galen, because of Al Harith ibn Qallada. Later, Al Harith ibn Qallada even marries the aunt of the Prophet. <laughs> and became a companion he was living with Muhammad for 20 years for two decades he is teaching Muhammad about medicine and medical things and whatnot including 
embryology that we can find in the Quran. A bam! Do you see it? Take screenshots, guys. Take screenshot. This guy was wrong because he learned from Galen, right? <laughs> Take a screenshot, guys. Yeah, I'm I'm call me CIA, call me FBI, call me what you want But we are here to spank Muhammad and uncover the truth, the secrets. Uh -huh. So guys, in other words, if Muhammad is a prophet, then Galen is a better prophet because Muhammad got it from him. <laughs> and let me drink something, guys. <clears throat> you know? So I hope, I hope this information will reach our dear brother, brother Daoud Kim and his uh, new friend, brother. Daoud Kim, I hope you, my video will reach you. And I'm asking our brothers here and sisters to do... What they can do is upload this video on their YouTube channel. Send, it, send the links to Daud Kim so it will reach him. So my, he, then he might learn about the true face of Islam. Learn how Muhammad was plagiarizing work. Put it in Quran. But the Quran, as we mentioned, is wrong, right? The Quran teaches that you can have a skeleton baby, brother. <laughs> Did you catch it, guys? So as we said, if we can find one error in the Quran, and we just did, that means Quran is not from God. Quran is not from God. Right? So conclusion, Quran is a man-made book. But what about Dr. Kate Moore, brother? How many times have you Muslims seen talking about Dr. Kate Moore? Brother, brother Rob Christian, brother, there's a guy called Dr. Keith Moore, brother. He says that it's true what the Quran said. Brother, did you give him the Arabic or did you give him the false English translation? We gave him the English translation, brother, because this guy doesn't know Arabic. Ah, so you duped him. <laughs> anyway, what did Dr. Keith Moore say? After finding out that they have duped him, that they have fooled him about what the Quran actually says. Watch. The same Dr. Keith Moore that you are using to brag about the Quran, which is false, he said in his book, this Dr. Keith Moore, in 1998, his book in page 15 says, the Quran pretty much copied from the works of Galen. Did you, do you see what he's saying? Guys, do you see what Dr. Keith Moore, after finding out that they have duped him, giving him false English translation of the Quran, remember, never ever trust any translation for the Quran, we already taught you that many times, right guys? So this guy says, the Quran, and I quote, the Quran pretty much copied from the works of Galen, which came before Muhammad and Islam. <laughs> Never, ever, ever bring up Dr. Kate Moore, because Dr. Kate Moore just destroyed you and your prophet and the Quran. Busted! Any Muslim who still wants to dare to bring up Dr. Kate Moore, yeah, Prophet Galen, peace be upon him, exactly. Alright. So what, did, what, what, did, what, what can we conclude? So here what we conclude, guys. This is what we can conclude. This sequence is scientifically wrong. The embryology stages that are described in the Quran are wrong. Thank you. Point number two. Galen said these embryo stages 500 years before the Quran. And Galen was wrong. Er Galen was wrong. Quran is wrong. Uh. Guys, take a screenshot. Help me to help you take a screenshot. Use it in your debates. Whenever a Muslim mentions Dr. Keith Moore, take a screenshot. All right? So Sergius is the one who is responsible for delivering the work of Galen, translated from Greek to Aramaic. And then, you know, this whole circle comes to Mecca, brother. Uh -huh. Exactly, brother. Exactly. Exactly, brother. <clears throat> so let us go back. Uh, Nasser, yeah, call me, Nasser. I would love to talk to you live on air. Before we continue, guys, I mean, let us have a small break. Small break. And uh, we will continue from there. So just a second, guys. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
<clears throat> Let us have a nice short break, coffee break, get some something to drink and we'll continue. Be right back. Better get for some coffee. Hola, Juan Valdez. Buenos días. Buenos días. Disfruta un buen We're back guys we're back we're, we're back all right so let us continue the video guys <clears throat> I might be heard guys is my voice still good hope my voice is good all right let us continue let us continue the video guys and we will spank brother David Daoud David <laughs> Daoud <laughs> Daoud Kim Daud Kim, brother. Today is uh, your janaza, brother. Yes. <clears throat> so, let us do this. Put on your headsets, guys. Put on your headsets. <clears throat> Mr. Daud Kim, yeah. So, we, we showed you that there are many creators, right? There are many creators in Islam. Allah is not the only one. Because it's talking about many creators. Tabarakallah ahsan al khaliqeen. Khaliqeen means creators. There are many creators. But Allah is the best, guys. Brother, Allah is the best, brother. <laughs> anyway. In of my creator. So, before the next prayer, mm -hmm. I do my best. I always think that I could die. Three years ago, you could my die? brother passed away. So oh, that's, that's sad. Your older brother. That's and my older brother. Now I'm older than him. I just mm. kept remind that I could die. Uh -huh. I just want to do my best every day before my next prayer. Maybe mm -hmm. I could die. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to do something wrong before I meet Allah. That's but wait, bro, bro. So, so guys, this guy saying he is afraid to do something wrong, you know, he doesn't want to do anything wrong before he meets Allah, right? That's what he says. Maybe I could die. Yeah. And I don't want to do something wrong before I meet Allah. Okay. But wait, brother, wait. 
Rob Christian has another surprise for you, brother. How, Rob Christian? Well, he just said, I don't want to do anything wrong. But wait, let me show you what your prophet said. Is that, is that fair, guys? Let us see what Muhammad said about this. Okay, let us see. What did Muhammad say? Here is a Sahih Bukhari Hadith, guys. Sahih Bukhari Hadith from Muhammad himself. Let me give you the link, guys. Let me give you the link so you can save it, bookmark it, use it in your debates with Muslims. Sahih Bukhari Hadith number 260. 260, do you see it? Let me go back. And let's see what Muhammad said about what we're going to explain to you. So this guy said, remember, the, the new friend of Daud Kim said, he's afraid that he might do something before he dies. But wait, let's see what Muhammad said. Allah's messenger said, Adam and Moses met. I have no idea how Adam and Moses would have met. But anyway, forget about it, guys. And Moses said to Adam, you, Adam, you, Adam, are the one who made people miserable because of you adam we're all out of jannah brother because of you we are out of that beautiful place brother so because of you we are kicked out so here it seems that muhammad is actually does believe in the original sin right do you see it muhammad does actually believe in original sin did you catch it and Muslims claim, no, there's nothing called the original sin in Islam. Well, your prophet believes in it because, because, look what he's saying. Muhammad is mentioning this, right? Because of you, Adam, we are all kicked out. So this is original shin, you know, sin, not shin, sin. <laughs> in Islam, right here, right? you see, Sahih Bukhari, brother. Don't blame Rob Christian, I'm only reading it. And because of you, we are turned out of paradise. Original sin, brother. Because of you. Original sin. Uh-oh. Let us continue. Anyway, guys, forget about it. Let us continue. Adam then says, look how Adam is going to refute Moses, guys. By the way, uh, Vitali Koshin in the super chat. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for the super chat. Rob, you are forgetting that the Quran is for all ages. They are for trans prophet is talking about trans women having sperm. <laughs> Look at this scientific proofs of the Quran, brother. Yeah, not proofs, but proofs, brother. Proofs. God bless you. God bless you too, my friend. There's nothing called scientific. It's proofs with a B, brother. Right? So here, Adam is going to refute Moses. Thank you for the super chat, my friend. Adam said to him, to who? To Moses. You are the one whom Allah selected for his message and whom he selected for himself. And upon whom he revealed the Torah. So Adam is saying to, uh, to uh, Moses, you know, Allah gave you the Torah. Okay, good. And Moses said, yes. Then Adam says, look what Adam is going to say. Watch. Guys, watch. Look at this wonderful conversation between Adam and Moses. Adam said, Adam said, yes, Adam said, brother, did you find that written in my fate before my creation? Adam says, yes. So Adam overcame Moses with his argument. Uh oh, so what does Adam actually saying? It's not my mistake. It's not my mistake, right? And this hadith is actually mentioned in many places in the Sunnah, right? Many hadiths are reporting Sahih hadith. So Adam is saying, don't blame me, right? Don't blame me. It's Allah who did this. Allah wrote this on me. Did you see it? Do you see it? Allah is the one who wrote this on me. So did Adam make a mistake or did Allah made the mistake forcing it on Adam? How, how did, did Adam have any, any say in it? No, Adam did have no say in it. Ah, so Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, friend of uh, Daud Kim, according to this ayah, Adam had no, no say, he had no free will. Allah wrote this mistake, this sin on him. So, what is the reason for praying five times? Anyway, anything, anything Allah wrote on you will happen anyway. Where is the free will, brother? You are nothing but a puppet in the hands of Allah. Can you see it, guys? Let me give you the link. And this, by the way, you can find many versions for this hadith. 
Another version that is talking about 40 years before the creation of Adam, Allah wrote it on Adam. Allah, who's the bad guy? Allah is the bad guy, right guys? Allah is the one who forced Adam to do this, that made them be kicked out of paradise. So your guys, in other words, Muhammad believes in the original sin. And Adam clearly says, according to Muhammad, he's the one who said, Allah wrote this on me. So where's the free will? Where's the shish kebab? Where is the falafel, brother? Seems that Allah is shaitan, exactly. Allah is, uh, is the puppet master and you are nothing but a puppet in his hand. Allah is playing with you like a toy. Allah is, make, is going to make you sin, brother. Allah is the one doing it. And by the way, this is Sahih Bukhari, guys. Sahih Bukhari, see it? This is not a joke in Islam, right? Let us continue the video, guys. Let us continue the video. Put on the headsets, guys. Let us continue. That's the most loving part for me. Yeah, mm. people are always do mistakes and there is no... Yeah, no, Allah is doing the mistakes and he's forcing the mistakes on, uh, on people. So if you... Don't blame you, the people, blame Allah for doing that. He is the one who is writing the mistakes and the sins on people. Did you catch it, guys? We just read the hadith for you. So don't blame yourselves, don't blame, blame Allah. He's the one that's responsible for all the mistakes and sins. Perfect person, but we can doing our best to be a good person, better person, and before we you, die. You have no say, doubt came, like, like we mentioned, you have no say in that. You have no say in that. Allah is doing the good and the bad. And when the judgment day is coming, what did he prove it? In front of Allah, yeah, standing person in front of Allah. And I was so arrogant. Five times prayer make me humble. Makes you humble? When we pray. Uh, what is the what is the point if you pray five times a day? If Allah is going to misguide you anyway, He can cause you to mis, to mis, be misguided because according to Quran, Allah can decide to misguide whoever He wills and guide whoever He wills, right, Muslims? So what's the point in praying five times a day if Allah one day decides to play with you like a toy in His hand and decides for you to become an apostate? Because it's Allah is the one who is doing that. Allah is the puppet master. You are the puppeteer in His hands, right? Right, Muslims? Five times a day, we always remind that we are just a person in front of Allah. We are all the equal and same people. Uh, 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 before we go there, we are just a person in the front of Allah. Brother, brother, you're not just a person in Islam. You're not, not just a person. You're not just a person in Islam. You are brother. You are only created as a slave and your only job as a slave to only worship Muhammad, sorry Muhammad, Allah, we know Allah and Muhammad are the same guy. So you only are there in Islam to worship Allah and Allah alone. And that's it. So you're only a slave, nothing. That's it. Yeah, bring up a point. Well, what's the point? If Allah send they can decide for you to be misguided, even if you are the best Muslim. Because Allah is the puppet master brother right allah is the puppet master brother allah puppet master brother yes brother look at this uh, this is allah brother and this is the muslim in the hands of allah brother any muslim any Muslim who thinks that Rob Christian is lying? <laughs> oh, CP will go live. Oh, that's bad. I, I'm not finished yet, guys. Oh, that's bad. Okay, no problem. Maybe you can take a call. Any Muslim? Any, any Muslim who thinks that Rob Christian is lying? Mr. Muslim Wenjab, Mr. Muslim Wenjab, Mr. Muslim Wenjab, call me ya, ya coward. I know you make videos about me. I know that you are doing uh, respond videos about me. Call me ya Indonesian coward. 
Mr. Muslim Wanjab. You, you, you. Yeah, you, potato. You love to make videos about me, trying to refute me. Yesterday we spanked you. I, I, and I want you to call me and show me where I lied. I challenge you, yeah, Mr. Indonesian, brother. Uh, yesterday we spanked you in my live show, right? Call me and refute me. If you have the courage. Potato. Potato, potato, potato. Potato, potato, potato. I know you made another video in Indonesian. Yesterday, after my live show, you made another video in Indonesian so that I cannot understand it because you're a coward. Your first video about me was in English. Then, because you know I spanked you and spanked your fake prophet, the cross-dressing prophet, the transsexual prophet, you decided to make a, a 45 minutes video about me in only Indonesian so I cannot spank you because I don't know Indonesian. I can't speak Indonesian. Yes, he, he can speak English, guys. He can. He can. But he is a coward and he will not call me. Call me, ya, ya idiot. Coward, call me. Call me on Skype, yalla. Thank you, uh, Theo Brown. Thank you. Yalla, ya Indonesian uh, puppet. Indonesian puppet. Call me. Only Muslims, guys. Only Muslims can call. Yeah, this uh, this guy that I just posted in the chat. In the chat, this guy. He was sitting in the chat. We spanked him yesterday together with the other liars. We spanked Farida. We spanked this guy. Call you coward. You can only make response videos in Indonesian because you're a coward. Coward. Okay, sit down like a puppy, right? Puppy, be a nice puppy, maybe you learn something. Brother, you lie in the translation, brother. You, you evil liar. You, you don't speak Arabic and you think you can refute me? You and what army can refute me, man? You and what army? Ask uh, Abdul Samad, maybe he can help you out, man. Abdul, I hope that Abdul Samad one day will call me, so we can have a nice... Okay, let's see who this guy is. I think he's a Muslim. Yeah, hello? Yeah, hello. Who is yeah, this? This is Rob Christian. Who is this? Your real name is Rob? Really? Yeah. Did you did you call me to ask me what my name is? No. Okay. I are just, you, I just are you a Muslim or you're a Christian? What's what's your What do you why do I'm you I'm a Muslim. You're a Muslim. Okay, good. Uh, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. What do you want to say? Your life on air. No. What, what did you say about Indonesian? Are you that guy that uh, that is making videos about me? Is no. Are you the same guy? No, no. Okay. No, I'm not. Okay. Why did you call me? Why did you call me? What do you want to share? Why are you a Muslim? Why are you a Muslim in 2020? Give me one good reason why you're a Muslim. I will answer that. Okay. Just relax. Yeah. I, will, I will answer that. I will yes. answer that. Okay. Yeah, you are the same guy, what, right? What? Why are you lying? You are the same guy, right? No, 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 no. I'm, I never called you before. Okay, what's your name? What's your name? What's your name on Yuda. YouTube? What's your name on Yuda. YouTube? Your name is Yuda? Yuda? Your name is Yuda. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I believe you. I believe you, brother. Go ahead. Your name is Yuda. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Taqiyah, taqiyah. My friend, did you, did you drink taqiyah this morning? Did you smoke it or something? No, I oh, okay. eat shit bake. Oh, that's good. Well, right. it's nice to know. It's yes. nice to know that you eat uh, shit yes. for breakfast. That's good. That's good. Yes. Okay, continue. Okay, what do you want to say? It's don't waste my time. It's don't waste my time. Don't, it's don't tell it's me it's about your bottle. delicious it's breakfast. Don't tell me about your shit it's breakfast. Your go, 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 go. It's in your Bible. Uh, go, tell me, tell me, tell me why <laughs> you are a Muslim in 2020. Don't waste my time. This guy eats shit for breakfast, okay? So, uh, uh, tell me why no, you it's, called. No, it's in your Bible. Coward. Oh, we a waste of time, man. Don't want to waste my time with kids, man. You see, only children in Islam, brother. Guy came to play, you know, and he, he wanted to tell us, he wanted to share with us that he is eating crap for breakfast. Well, th thank you for the information, man. Thank you. Thank you for sharing this life on air with us, brother. Yeah. Let's see. 
Yeah, hello? hello. Mute YouTube, hello. please. Mute YouTube, please. I want to talk about... Are you a Muslim, my friend? Rani, are you a Muslim? Yes, I'm Muslim. Okay. Mute okay. YouTube, please. I closed it. Okay, good. Why, uh, why, why, what do you want to share with us, life? Your life on air, what do you want to share with us? Go ahead. I want to talk about the lie, which is about having more than one God. About Jesus a lie? Created, what? Jesus created yeah. the bear by the will of the best creator. Ah, but God there are more, there are more than one creators in Islam, my friend. Chapter 23. Ayah 14 says, فَتَبَارَكَ اللَّهُ أَحْسَنُ الْخَالِقِينَ So blessed be Allah, the best of creators. It seems that there are many creators in Islam according to chapter 23, Ayah 14. Not you only Allah. Something, what are you called? Uh, well, I, when I create, I don't create life. Do you? Do you create life? Is it written that uh, Jesus created life? Yes, because Jesus makes it clear well, from I, a bill. Wait, let me talk. You, you ask, wait, you ask me a question. Let me answer, please. Let us be respectful. Yes, Jesus created life from a clay. He, he fashioned a bird and he breathed into it and it, the, the bird become alive. So yes, Jesus, like Allah, creates life. By the will of God. Moses is God or not? Th 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 that's not that's not the point. The point is the ayah is clear. It says, "Fatabarakallah Allah ahsan al khaliqin." Blessed be Allah, the best of creators. Creators about what? Creating life, because this is a religion where here the Quran is talking about creating life. It seems that Allah and Isa share the same divine attribute, which is creating life. Go ahead. Moses is God or not? Who? Moses. Did Moses create life? Go ahead. When he threw the, the stick, did it become snake or not? Did he create? Did he create that, or did Allah do that? God created it. Ah, uh, God created it. And so, the same with Jesus. No, 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 no. You just said it. God created. But who who is the one who's breathing in the in the bird? The clay bird. Who's doing the, the breathing? Of God. Who is breathing? Well, who threw the stick? Answer my question. Who, who threw the stick? Who breathed in the bird? Who threw the stick? Who breathed in the bird? Wait, give me the verse. Uh, you're, the, you're the Muslim, you should give me the verse. Wait. By the will of God, any, anything can who, happen. Who breathed, who breathed in it? Who breathed in it? Yeah, who breathed Wait. in it? Brother? Brother? I don't want to. <laughs> I advise you to be respectful now. I'm very respectful, brother. Come on. Oh, yeah. I'm allowing you to speak live on air. You are my uh, honored guest. So tell me. Give me the number of the verse. I am. I'm a Christian. I and I should have give you the number of the verse. You should you should the one who give a, you 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 called me to teach me so give me the chapter number give me the verse I'm not coming to teach you No you called me to refute me so that means you have the knowledge you have you are more smart than me you are the muslim you teach do. me teach me teach me You as me you don't have Teach knowledge. me give me the chapter number and the ayah number go go man go ahead go ahead you're the muslim teach teach the christian is wait come on wait okay ask prophet google peace be upon him brother do you see? I want to ask you something. No, no. Uh, give no. me the ayah. Give me the ayah. <laughs> give me the ayah. Did, did God wrestle with Jesus? Be upon him. Uh, why you want to change topic? We, why are you Why you going to change topic? Why are you going to change topic? We are talking about creation, right? And even yes, okay. He did. Give me, give me and the chapter. Give God. me the chapter. <laughs> give me the chapter. Give me the eye. Come on, don't waste time, please. I respect you. Respect me. Back. Yeah. Yes. Continue. What is the chapter? What is the chapter? What is the number of the ayah? I will give you it. Yeah, give me, give me the numbers, give me. What is the give chapter you, number? Give me, 
Do you memorize Bible by the number? No, but you, you Muslims always say you memorize the Quran. So are you telling me that you don't know the Quran? What? We don't. We Christians don't have to memorize the Bible. But you Muslims must memorize the Bible. Right? You must try. Uh, okay, so give me the chapter and give me the ayah, please. Not every woman. That is he. <laughs> يلا يا اخي يا لا كفي يعني بلا لف ودوران يعني اوكي لف ودوران والله محب طريق يلا يلا يا اخي يلا 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 بلا ما نروح وقت اوكي وي هاف تو ماني بيبل واتشين لولا المسلمين انت مش عايش عشان تعرف اوكي اوكي جيف مي ذا اي يلا دونت ويست ماي تايم Uh, my friend, go, chap, chapter, Aya. chapter what? Chapter ayah what? Ayah and chapter, please. Chapter yeah. and one. Ali Amran. And verse and verse. Yeah. Forty-nine. Chapter Ali Amran. Verse what? Forty-nine. Forty-nine. Okay. I thought and you, you know, were going to verse. give another one. Well, you have texts on Bible. Okay. Do you okay. see? You admit. Okay. It's a verse. Well, you have a text. Okay, read it, read it. Thank you for admitting it's a verse. Well, you have a text. Read it. Why to read it? Read it. Read the ayah. You're the Muslim, not me. I'm not so good in reading even. Why not, man? Come on, read it. I want to tell you something. I don't have... Teach me. Else. Teach me how Isa created life. Teach me. Look at Bi'idhnillah. By what? I'm waiting, man. By God. So you must understand it. Okay, so who breathed in the clay bird? Who did that? Allah or Isa? Isa, Jesus. What? Okay, yes, so he's God. the one who's created Isa, yes, life, right? Yes, yes. Did Allah do... Or was it Isa doing... Which what? one? Did Isa do... Or was it Allah doing... Even who? Jesus. Be Jesus. Able. Okay, Isa. so he's the one who is the, he Whatever. is the one. He's the one. Thank you. So he's the one who's creating the bird by blowing into it, not Allah. By so it God. seems by it God. seems I, you know that's not the point. The point is Isa is doing the creation. He is the one the creation. That's why the Quran is saying, Fatabarakallah Ahsan al Khalaqi, right? Well who gave the stick alive? Right? Hmm. Right, so this is why the Quran is talking about Fatabarak Allah Asan al Khaliqi, right? Yes, you, I'm a creator, you are a creator, but God is the best creator. Yeah, so we have more than one creator, that's my point, right? But not more than one God, you but there are one. more, there are more than one creator who create life. Isa is one of them, and Allah is the other one, so we have two creators in Islam, not one, right. Because it's talking about many creators. There is a difference between the creator and the creator. Okay. Don't waste my time. You already agreed there are many creators. So, you know. Playing games with me. Oh, oh. Let me yeah, you, had your, you had your chance. Guys, I, uh, to be honest with you, I didn't want to break the call. But out of respect for our dear brother, Christian Prince. I don't want to be a stumbling block, guys. I love br brother Christian Prince. So guys, thank you for watching. Uh, my friend, the Muslim who called me, call me another time. We don't have time anymore, okay? We have a very small window. Next time, Rani, you, you had your chance. You just proved to everybody that Allah is not the only creator. Isa is creating. He is the one who's doing the blowing, right? Not only uh, Allah, he is the one who's doing the blowing. Not only Allah. So we have many creating people in Islam. Thank you guys for watching. We'll, we will do it next time guys. Thank you for being here. Go to Christian Prince, our dear brother, the living legend Christian Prince. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your donations. Thank you for your support. Lord willing, we'll see each other again in a future live show. Thank you for watching guys and God bless.